Trigger points occur in two places in the levatoscapular muscle. The first is just where the muscle attaches into the superior border of the scapula. This is really, really common. Um, a lot of people who have a sore shoulder will reach behind them. You can kind of reach this with the tip of your fingers and the muscle itself is a flat muscle. It sits underneath the trapezius. So you have to do a little bit of digging and you'll find this trigger point which sits in this, you know, as I say, you'll find this, this particular trigger point and often people will, will press it and, and, and play with it to try and relieve their pain. The second trigger point is halfway up the muscle and this is where the twist occurs in the muscle. To get to this is, a, is actually quite, is slightly difficult. The tra trapezius overlies it and you often have to feel underneath the trapezius. Again, you have to dig in to find this particular trigger point. When the triggers become active, you get this pattern of pain. The primary area is here which is a very common place for people to feel pain. You can see somebody bringing their hand round this corner and grasping hold of, the, of that area. And it refers slightly up into the neck, slightly across to the shoulder, and slightly down into this area. So, but the center of it is right here. The cent centroid, the central area of the pain, resides between the scapula and the lower part of the neck in the angle between the neck and the shoulder. One of the major symptoms that you get apart from pain is a feeling of stiffness. The, when the levator scap is, has trigger points in it, you have great difficulty rotating your head to the side of the levator scap itself. So if it's on the right hand side you have difficulty turning your head around. This is a classic when somebody has pain in this area they'll find that if they go to reverse the car they'll turn their whole shoulders to get around to look behind. Now, the possible causes of triggers in this muscle, well, it's because it's a posture muscle, therefore, if you have poor posture or suboptimal posture, if you're a slumper, then this will turn on triggers. If you sleep with your neck at an awkward angle, so your pillow isn't adequate to support your neck, if you're stressed out, often emotional stress is expressed in the levator scapulae muscle. If you spend long periods holding a posture, as in working over a, uh, a, 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 at a computer or um, sitting for many hours, uh, this will turn triggers on in this area. There are a related group of muscles in here which may also turn on and have triggers because there is no such thing as one muscle only. You know, all movements are complex, so related muscles that have triggers would be trapezius, supraspinatus, the rhomboids, and the infraspinatus muscle.